guys, what's going on? My name is Vanessa Even Swalete and you welcome back to my channel. If this is the first time that you're dropping by or even stopping by, do want to hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell so that you get to see more videos like this anytime I post. Yay guys! Alright, I forgot to tell you guys. I got engaged! Yay! That's the that's the best way I can explain. <laughs> Okay guys, so I got engaged and I'm so super happy. Did you guys see my ring? Let me see, this man tried now. He tried. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I know you're already saying congratulations and I know you're actually smiling for me. It simply means I, I just want to say Mwah. thank you. You guys are amazing. So, because I'm very happy today and I am very energetic, I started taking this supplement called um, Goli. This is not a sponsored ad, guys. It's not sponsored. I'm taking this right now. And um, I started taking it yesterday. Honestly speaking, just yesterday. I got this and I started using it yesterday and it's been mwah, amazing. I feel very energetic. Like I haven't had anything since morning till right now. There, it's, it's there about 1 p.m. When I'm, when I'm recording this. And I've just had this and vitamin C. I always take it with this supplement. This is my supplement. Look at look at them, both of them like this, right now. So I always have vitamin C 1000 mg on an empty stomach every day. It's a powerful antioxidant that would really help to get rid of free radicals in your system, toxins and all. So I'm using it with this apple cider vinegar gummy. Um, this goes for like 12,000 naira and um, this one goes for like 6,000 naira. So this is my supplement and I have started using it. I, I, I can't resist the urge. <laughs> I couldn't resist the urge to say something about it. It's amazing. Go and get it. You feel so free. You'll be able to go to the toilet. Your, your balls will be so free. Whoa! It has really, really curbed my appetite. And also at the same time, it has, you know, relieved me of the bloated feeling I'm always getting with the product. So, because I am happy today, I have decided to do something called Pros Week. Now, Pros Week is called, is a short form for Professional Week. So if you're not a professional and uh, maybe you've, you don't have any idea at all about skincare or even how to calculate in percentages, then uh, maybe you, you may need to watch some other videos on YouTube to learn how to do that or simply go on Google and anything I say, if I say water, 97% go on Google and search for 97% of the total gram that you want to make so the batch size you want to make depends on you so if you want to make 100 grams just look for 197 grams 97 percent all right of 100 gram on Google and it's going to give you the answer all right what we're doing in pros week is that I'm going to be coming up with formulas that you can put up for sale we're gonna have um, different products for different skin types all right so we're going to be doing it weekly by weekly so um for oily skin we're going to have it for a week for mature skin we're going to also have it for a week we're going to also have for dry skin and all so um this week we're going to start up with mature skin so i have gotten lots of clients over the week asking questions about what they have to use and majority of them uh, they're, they're about the age of um, 50 to about 65. I think 68 is the highest I've gotten right now, recent. So um, I decided to just dedicate this week for them. So I want to start out with them. Okay, so we're going to be making a facial set for them. But we're going to start out with the serum today. So this serum is going to be called the 5% Niantinamide Serum. Um, the serum is going to be filled with... Um, lots and lots of um, humectants and things that would really really boost moisture for the skin to prevent trans epidermal water loss so um it is always best that you are using ingredients that is really going to help with the moisture because these people this client of yours the mature skin um categories they are losing water as they grow so as your skin grows you lose moisture Okay, you lose moisture. So this is important. You need to fill their skin up with moisture. And if they are on the sensitive side, then it is always best that you don't even bother yourself at all by adding any essential oil or fragrance. Okay, so um, this particular serum that we're going to be making today, 
will be the 5% 5% niantinamide serum. All right, it is very, very good. Um, even if you're not aged yet, even if you're not at that, you know, age grade, and you can still use this if you're having severe dark spots or blemishes, age spots and all. You can use this and I'm very sure it's going to help. We say it is going to really, really reduce the visibility or the appearance of this one. So the niantinamide serum that we have um, is going to be filled with, we're going to have niantinamide. It's definitely, we're making a niantinamide serum, so niantinamide has to be in it. Then we're also going to add N-acetylglucosamine. N-acetylglucosamine is really going to help with boosting the efficacy or the um, strength of the niantinamide. And that's why I'm adding it in this formula. Okay, and then we're also going to be adding hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid holds lots and lots of water. So it will prevent your skin from, um, you know, transepidermal water loss. Okay, so it creates that film. It's a powerful humectant. All right, that you use on your skin. So it's always good that you use um, hyaluronic acid in place, okay, of glycerin. So normally when I mention humectants, you should be thinking about glycerin, lactic acid, and the rest. We're not going to be adding too much glycerin in this formula because um, really hyaluronic acid is there to play the role, okay, to play the role of the glycerin. So we're just gonna be adding a little amount of glycerin for, you know, moisture from the air or from your surrounding and we're also going to be adding the hyaluronic acid um, in a very reasonable amount so that water moisture can be filled up on the skin and then if you're also suffering from hyperpigmentations and the likes um, the niantinamide is really going to help to, to depigment any hyperpigmentations that you may have so if you're likely to also be acne prone or if you're not yeah, because I noticed some people, even at that age, they still produce more sebum. So if you're on that side, I have decided that you should opt glycerin out of it. Don't add glycerin at all. Just go in with the hyaluronic acid. Okay, so um, propylene glycol is added to this particular formula so that the product can go into the skin cells and then do amazing okay so it's just for also opt the propylene glycol out for um, maybe dmi or something else but i always like to add propylene glycol because it is cheaper and then it does the job amazing so um let's get into the lab all right let's get into the lab right now let me show you hi welcome back to my station so first things first we need to weigh out all the ingredients like what we have here on the screen so i have my rose water which i just showed you and right here is my anesthetic glucosamine this is the cold boost for what you can see right now on the screen the niantinamide which is what i have here in five percent and my hyaluronic acid which has proven to hold 1,000 times water. So here are the ingredients I'm going to be using. So let's start. Now I'm pouring in my rose water to my um, to the beaker that I'll be working with. Any oils that will be in this formula has to be solubilized because it is a serum. So I have my IPM, I have my essential oils, and I also have my fragrance oil. So um, you need to pre-mix them in a solubilizer like uh, maybe polysorbate 20 or polysorbate 80. But I have polysorbate 80 right now. So you want to make sure you pre-mix it so well that it goes really clear. All right. Make sure it's transparent enough. So get it into a pipette or a dropper bottle and start to add it drop by drop into your water face and stare as you do this. So you want to add it slowly, don't add it too fast because if you do it too fast, you end up with a cloudy solution. So since I have a clear solubilized um, product right now, I will be going ahead to weigh out my other ingredient, which is my propylene glycol and my glycerin. So I'm mixing both of them together, this um, particular ingredient. They is going to really help. They are going to really help out with the delivery system. So right here is my water phase again, and it's time right now to add my hyaluronic acid. 
so what i did was because i didn't want to waste lots and lots of time i will still be making lots or more serums i decided to make a solution that's a hyaluronic acid solution the previous day and then i discounted it by the water and um use the concentration of the hyaluronic acid that i want in my formula this thing i just said right now if you know you don't understand it then uh, maybe i'll make a video someday or maybe you should just take the emotion potency class to learn about concentration so i just went in with the hyaluronic acid right now and um i'm staring in really well make sure you stare in so so well so that you don't end up with um two parts of your formula so drag it out and scoop it out and then make it drop in and see if it is going to drill this way you would know is that the hyaluronic acid and the water phase has been mixed up very well so i'm going to end with my actives which is what i'm starting with the niantinum um the n-acetylglucosamine i'm sorry so i'm adding the n-acetylglucosamine right now and i'm really going to stay in very very well uh, this is water soluble and this means you can add it at the end of your formula but because i wanted everything to blend and melt very well i heated up my um glycerine and my propylene glycol to about 44 degrees celsius and i'm going to mix it in right now to my formula so when I do when I did this, I had to stir in really well so that I could fully incorporate everything and every active will be able to dissolve really well. So your propylene glycol is also going to act as a solvent to help you know further um, dissolve any actives that you have just added. Now I'm going in with the last active of the day, which is the niacinamide at five percent and i'm going to stay in really well i wouldn't have any troubles um trying to dissolve this in my formula because it already the formula already contains the propylene glycol so i'm just stirring in well and i'm going to be adding my vitamin b5 which is um dl panthenol so i um decided to go ahead with my um mini whisk because the star was not just doing the job for me anymore so um this particular machine would incorporate air to your serum so you want to make sure you're careful about that so what i just added right now is my preservative okay you want to make sure you add a preservative because this product consists of both oils and water so because i wasn't getting the color anymore that i initially had with the rose water pink color i decided to add food coloring to my desired taste to make sure the you know hyaluronic acid serum comes out great and you need to leave it in for about um a day or maybe about some hours before you can get the clear niacinamide so i'm going ahead right now to test my ph and we want to make sure that the ph is close to six even if it's not six on the dot so just make sure it is very very much close to six so right now i um have it at 6.23 um ph level and i had to adjust ph to 6.11 and that is it for the product and you need to leave this like i said so that it hydrates and then it goes clear the next day so here is the result this is how the serum is now if you want a thicker viscosity you can increase the percentage of your hyaluronic acid and decrease the percentage of your propylene glycol I decided to use the higher amount of propylene glycol and lesser amount of hyaluronic acid because I do not like sticky serum serums on my face. Hence why I made this. So if you want to make for a client and they don't really mind, then increase the hyaluronic. Enjoy that video and if you did, do well to hit the thumbs button, that like 
hit the like button also subscribe if you have not yet done that and do not forget to hit the notification bell so that you get to see more videos like this anytime i post them if you have any questions at all do want to connect with me you can check the description box to see all that how you can connect with me if you have any questions pertaining this video please do all well to drop them on the comment section i'm going to reply you when i can and if you would like to take any of our courses it is right there in the description box see if there is anyone available right now for you to enroll in and do all well to enroll in that video in no time so thank you so much for watching this video i hope you guys have a nice day and the next one we're going to be coming up with will be the facial cream for mature skin so these products that i'm mentioning or this video that I have taught you how to learn how to make you have to combine them together to make up a set and then recommend to your client who has mature skin it's not wonderful can't wait to see you all again bye